Hey there, YouTube. I am just hanging out on the couch with Joe. He just ate something and now he has the hiccups, so he's hiccuping a lot. I just ate popcorn. Our house is a disaster of toys. And Daddy and James are, well, they were a second ago, playing beans on the floor. James, where are your beans? He wanted a new box for them, eh? That's what that was. Alex, don't let him throw them. Honestly, you're like my third child. Don't eat them either, Alex. They're raw! Can you guys please take this in? That is a sensory box of beans and rice and all sorts of things that I made for James. Look, I'm a drunk vegan. You know, this is why he does bad things during the day. He'll get in trouble for doing that. Alex! Oh my gosh! I'm so happy that you stayed home for the week to help me while my vagina was healing. I didn't like eating those beans. They were too raw. Well, I don't know why you ate them. That was stupid. <laughs> oh my god. It hurts so badly to cough right now. Anyways, this is going to be a really awkwardly angled video, apparently. Uh, Mary Ellen just came over with her boys, and that's one of the reasons why there are toys everywhere. Um, the other reasons is because I have three sons now. Yeah, so I have to tell you guys something. So I have three sons, I don't bother cleaning up after any of them. Alex, your whole shirt is covered in stains. So Mary Ellen came over because I have to say, there's one major difference between having a vaginal birth and having a C-section. When I had a C-section, we were in the hospital for three days after, and that sucked, but it was totally necessary because I couldn't even get out of bed. Um, couldn't even poop by yourself. No, I couldn't. You, you had to stand with me and help me. Yes, I did. Yes, you did. So I have to say that the major difference between being in the hospital and not being in the hospital, though it is amazing to be at home, I think that I would be getting released from the hospital today. And then I still had like three weeks of recovery at this point with a C-section. I hadn't even showered yet. It was horrendous being in the hospital, but having James in the hospital for the first three days of his life <coughs> made it so easy to just relax about what was going on with him. I didn't have to worry that anything was gonna go like unnoticed. I didn't have to worry that he wasn't eating enough or that he was getting sick or that he was, I don't know, not peeing or pooping enough or that something was going on with his umbilical cord because there was nurses in and out of my room every single day for three days and they would sometimes change his diaper, take a look at him, weigh him, do this and that with him. And so like I never had to worry about him. I have to say that coming home after 24 hours has actually been really, really stressful for me. You know, it's weird because like I don't worry a lot with James. Like we kind of have always just... James. A lot of other people say to us, like, oh, you give this to your kid, or oh, your kid's climbing on the couch, or whatever, and we're like, that's, what's he gonna do? He's not gonna die, you know? But um, with a fresh new baby, that's always a concern in my head. I feel like I'm gonna walk away for two minutes, and I'm gonna come back, and something is gonna go catastrophically wrong while I'm gone. So it's been kind of a stressful couple of days, just because... You know, we don't go back to the doctors until tomorrow, so if anything was wrong with him, or if he's lost a lot of weight, or something like that, I'm not going to find out till tomorrow. You know, so I have all of this guilt already built up inside of me, just in case something is wrong, that I have to feel guilty about. It's just, it's silly little things that I am worrying a lot about this week, just because I don't have anybody else to worry about them for me, if you know what I mean. Like, Joe's umbilical cord, so the clamp stayed on James for the first three days when he was born. Hold on one second, he looks uncomfortable. My sphincter is upset. Alex, really, I'm recording a video and you're saying your sphincter is upset in the background. Anyways. So with James, he had the umbilical cord clamp on in the hospital and it was okay because even if I changed his diaper, the nurse would come in sometime in the next 24 hours and weigh him and she would look and... So like I knew that if I was doing something wrong, I was going to be told. With Joe, we left the hospital and he still had the cord clamp on because it kind of stays on for the first two or three days. And we came home and it was, I don't know, like I think it's either supposed to be facing sideways or facing with the long side up, but Joe's was clamped with the long side facing down. And so it basically hung like two inches into his diaper or two inches down on top of his diaper. And then when he would bend his legs, it would push the clamp up. It was already making his umbilical cord separate from his body, even though he's only three days old. So I was really, really concerned about it. And I had been freaking out all week long about it because I'm like, you know, we couldn't start cloth diapering because the cloth diapers are too bulky. 
Um, even the little regular diapers were too bulky. I made an update earlier saying that I was letting him have naked time and it's just because like I've been freaking out about the diapers on his umbilical cord and I've taken so many pictures over the past couple of days and sent them to Mary Ellen and said, does this look normal? Does this look normal? Does this look normal? Because I'm like, I, I just need reassurance that everything's going okay and it's almost like because I'm at home with a baby that's so new, I just needed something to freak out about. I, I don't know, maybe something's wrong with me. I have to say today, Mary Ellen took time out of her ridiculously stressful day and dragged her two sons across the city and came and removed his umbilical cord clamp for me because I just could not wait until the doctor's appointment tomorrow. It was pulling off on one side, a little bit of blood came out of the other side today. I have no idea if it was normal, but it was like regular, just even him being naked and moving around was causing the clamp to move so much that it was tugging and it was just really concerning for me. So that's really the main difference between staying in the hospital for three days and coming home after a day. Though it's really, really nice to be home, I just, I can't imagine if like Joe was my first baby and I was at home after one day because it has been really stressful. Tomorrow I have to go and get him weighed and like all night long I know I'm gonna be thinking, has he been eating enough this week? Has he not been eating enough and I haven't been noticing it? Have I been putting him down too much and it's, you know, making him stressed and he's losing weight? And I know I sound like a freak when I say all that stuff, but these are legitimately things that run through my head, so. Yeah, that's one major difference. And I'm gonna tell you guys all about the birth really, really soon. I just, this is just something that happened right now, and so I thought I'd talk to you guys about it. And on that note, I wanted to say, if everybody in the world had a friend as amazing as Mary Ellen, this world would be a thousand times better because honestly, Mary Ellen has the busiest, most stressful day of anyone I've ever heard of in my life. She just drops everything and comes running across Toronto to cut the clamp off of my baby so thank you Mary Ellen <laughs> yeah I guess that's all there's Joe house husband engage oh god did you just jack off the vacuum I was it. <laughs> all right well we'll talk to you guys all soon Joe, he's a pretty chill baby we'll find out yeah he's fine yeah. Alex is trying to vacuum and James keeps getting on top of the vacuum and riding it away. Thank you.